Hi, welcome to Skilled Pastor, where we offer practical advice for better ministry. My name is Rob Nieves, and today I want to talk to you about sermon preparation, the length. How much time does it take to prepare a sermon? Now, that's a question that most new preachers have, because if I'm going to get into this, you know, maybe I'm a new pastor, how much time do I need to devote to sermon preparation? It's a great question, and one that could be just so difficult to answer. It's really hard to answer this, because obviously every sermon uh, is different but I, I do have some tips for you let me tell you something first of all when I first started preaching when I first became a full-time pastor I remember the first time uh, I was a youth pastor at a church and I, I'm thinking you know what am I gonna do with 40 hours a week however anytime that the pastor would ask me to preach for the large congregation I remember freaking out. I needed at least a month like to know that that this sermon is coming. And then the week of, like the week that I was getting ready to preach, I could easily use up 40 hours to prepare for a sermon because back then I really just didn't have the tools. I didn't know really how to do this. I was still a brand new pastor, so it was difficult. So I want you to know that when you're starting off, it could take some time. Like it, it could take me easily 40 hours and I still not feel like I'm ready to preach a half an hour to 40 minute sermon. It, it's, it was just so difficult. But I will tell you the good news is that after some years, Today, I could probably get away from anywhere from uh, from eight to 10 hours, sometimes even four to five hours, but that only comes with time. So if you're just starting off, I'll, I'll be praying for you, but I want you to know that it's gonna take some hard work. And, and some preachers, the way I hear them preach, man, it seems like they're always in God's word, but just relax, it gets a little easier. And I wanna give you some tips on how you can just reduce that study time so that it's more valuable, so that it's more effective, so maybe you'll have less time but you'll be able to make the best use of it so here are my tips the first thing I want to say is that if you want to reduce your sermon preparation time you need a more consistent study life okay you need a more consistent study life you really do need to be in God's Word every single day I mean you really need the Word of God for your own personal edification so never mind preparing to preach however I will say that the more consistent you are in your own reading of God's Word in your own study life the easier it'll be for you when sermon prep time comes and not that we're using our personal devotional time for sermon preparation but it is just uh, really the result of just being in God's Word when you have time to prepare a sermon your time will be shortened so I would say be consistent in your own personal study life I think that's so important and something that every preacher that every Christian just needs to be able to do the second thing I would say to you is you need tools you need resources Ensure uh, Bible commentaries and dictionaries and study Bibles. All those things are great, but that's not necessarily the tools I'm talking about. I I'm talking about systems. You need a system of how you're going to prepare. Now, if you watch some of our videos, I give you tools and I, I tell you how do you go about, but you need systems, whether it's a system that you develop, whether it's a system that you follow that someone else created, you need systems. I think for me, that's the best thing that seminary did for me. It gave me systems on how to prepare a sermon how do I study how do I go about doing things so you need systems so uh, again a more consistent study life you need tools you need systems and the third thing I would say is don't go crazy preaching about things that you're not comfortable with there are some topics in, in scripture that frankly I have yet to touch not because I don't think I should touch them but I, I just don't feel that I'm ready yet so I try to preach on the things that I do know the things that I do know well and don't get me wrong I do challenge myself but you need to be preaching especially if you're starting off preach on what you do know uh, people are more comfortable listening to you speak on a subject that you understand rather than you dabbling in something that you're not really sure about and, and uh, you know people may have questions and you don't really know how to answer them so I would say if you want to reduce the, the sermon prep time preach what you know uh, make it a little easier on yourself but again as you preach what you know also start challenging yourself to grow so a more consistent study life is essential you need that continue to study the Word of God 
continue to develop and continue to use systems. And again, just the third thing, preach what you know. Stay away from the things that you don't know, and that will help reduce some of the sermon preparation time. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to let you know that the best way that you can get more resources is by going to our website at www.skilledpastor.com. When you go there, we have some free resources that you can sign up for and you can receive into your inbox. So go and check those resources out. Uh, we have PDFs and we have audio resources for you. Go ahead and check those out absolutely for free so that you can excel in ministry. But I also want want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like what you're seeing we're posting new content every single week and it's just for you to help you as you do ministry so god bless you so much for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video and that you enjoy everything else that we're putting out because it's just for you so that you can excel in ministry and so that you can move forward faster